Hello, everybody. I warmly welcome you to the virtual marketplace provided by the Grow Final Conference. My name is Anneli Oven, and in the framework of my bachelor thesis, I am investigating the impact of different pumping scenarios on the groundwater resources in the Western Mountain Aquifer. To visualize and support my research, I used the decision support system developed by Vistat in the Medwater project. I am glad to give you an overview of the current possibilities of the DSS, putting an emphasis on the groundwater modeling options. I will now show you the main settings in the framework of one nature rehabilitation scenario. After logging into the interface, the module base data opens in which land use, climate data and results from a numerical mod flow model are stored as interactive maps, as you can see here. For me, the groundwater parameters for the upper aquifer were um, interesting. Here you can already see the different water level heads distribution shown in the specific color shades. This, distri this distribution is based on the information from the existing mod flow model. On this side, you can see the corresponding heads to the colors. You can also adjust the layers seen on the map by clicking here at administrative layers. I added recharge areas, report cells, and red line points, which were crucial for my overall work. For those who are not familiar with the term red line, I will provide a short definition of the term. The so-called red line indicates the threshold level recommended by the hydrological service to prevent the influx of salty water. This level stands at 9 meters, 12 meters and 13 meters above sea level in the cells 210, 211 and 220. You can see the corresponding observation wells and the red line for the spring discharge on the left hand side. And on the right, you can see the historical water level measurements during the year 1990 until 2017. Now I will describe the main approach and concept for my presented scenario. The regional nature conservation scenario has the main goal to observe how the Yakon Spring, which dried out in the 1970s due to overpumping and mismanagement of the aquifer, can be reactivated. Therefore, the concept is to put the political focus on preserving and recovering the local state of nature and its water resources. Furthermore, the abstraction of water from local freshwater resources is restricted. One possible approach to achieve this rehabilitation is to integrate injection wells with specific pumping rates to see if this might have an impact. Here you can see which average injection rates per cell I applied. Um, and I will see if those rates will have an impact um, for the rehabilitation. The rates are based on provided information from literature and analytical formulas. The artificial enhancement of the groundwater resources could be supplied by desalinated water or treated wastewater, which were both introduced in the late 70s and in the beginning of the year 2000. To set my scenario, I mainly worked in the section groundwater modeling. Here you can add a new project to the interface. I have already generated my project here. By clicking on edit, a new map with the information of the groundwater levels is shown. On the right hand side, you can see the legend and the already embedded wells from the model in gray and the different transmissivity layers. The information about the existing wells are listed on the table on the left hand side. By clicking on edit, you can see the pumping rates.
you can also have the possibility to add new wells by yourself into the map by clicking here. You can see that I have already implemented some for the period January 2000 and December 2005. Every new well will appear green. You can zoom in to get a closer look on the well like this. Or you can just edit the rates. Here you can see that I have already implemented some rates. If you want to change them, you can just click on the bars and shift them up and down. Or in case you want to enter specific values, you can do so by clicking on table. Just make sure to insert the values in the right units. The program works with the unit cubic meter per day, as you can see here. So far, the DSS only simulates in the time period from 1950 until 2006. Eventually, it will be possible to forecast until 2070. Now, as we have now, as we have set the wells, the, pro the program can calculate the different parameters. Now that it's done, we can show the results. Now that it's done, you can choose the specific parameter you want as an output on the left hand side. For me, the information about the groundwater heads from the model were interesting. So I clicked here. And after that, you can see the development of the distribution, not only as a colored gradient layer on the map, but also listed as a statistical chart next to the map. I hope with this short tutorial, I was able to give you an overview of the main settings of the DSS. Thank you for your attention.